We might have been both his girlfriend's child, okay? You just you just got pregnant. That's all I got because I mean he was asking me to stay. It's one of those things where it's like you literally watch somebody have this fake life that they're having. Be happy, child. I'm happy for him though. Like whatever. You live your life, boo. So anyways. So the breakup was really like I think it was nasty in a sense where I just said how I felt. I, I hurt some feelings. My feelings were hurt, so psh, your feelings are about to be hurt too. And and then I left. It did take me a while to wean off of this. Off of like... I wouldn't say that I was constantly checking up on him. It was more of, I can't believe this is what happened and how it happened so i looked up the girl and then i remember her name because on his social media ever so often that name would pop up like she would be commenting and liking his posts calling him babe and all that stuff and i was just like but i never actually asked him about it because i was just like maybe that was there from before but i always used to see that name and then lo and behold she got pregnant now they together anyways so you know i took stock of myself and kind of just was like i'm done with the situation it is what it is whatever <laughs> yo listen here he has a sister when we were together she made no effort to get to know me none whatsoever not so much as a facebook request not a hey not a like not a nothing okay now we're broken up she's sending me requests why <laughs> why is that a thing why are you sending me friend requests like i'm not gonna accept you doesn't matter you see what i'm saying like just weird little things kept happening like so i have a linkedin account and ever so often he pops up on my linkedin as in he's viewing my profile why you moved on remember <laughs> You moved on because you didn't want me, remember? I snooped and looked up the girl because I didn't have the closure that I wanted and I got the closure I wanted. My way. <laughs> listen, listen to me, okay? Let me take my glasses off. Let me drink my water, child. <laughs> listen to me. We broke up a long time ago, and this is 2012. This is, yeah, we broke up a while ago. This right now, we're in 2020. And as of recent as January or February, I think it was, 2020, he sent me a friend request on Instagram. Why? But the thing is, right, I'm going to tell y'all something. He married this young lady. They got married and I think they have two children. How do I know this? I'm still friends with his sister. It is what it is. They have two children. They are happily married. And and I only say that because people fake it till they make it. It is what it is. Um, there is no need for you. I'm, I'm completely over him. So for me, there was no need for me to be looking him up or anything like that. I was minding my business one day. This is what it was. I was minding my business one day and I saw an Instagram ad pop up. And I'm like, yo, why do I know this chick? Like, why do I know her face? And then I go into the profile because I saw the ad and it was his wife. Okay, child. So yeah, I already know. Detective Gadget over here, like. I googled their wedding announcement and stuff like that and I was reading it and I'm like yo yo I'm like I feel offended that I'm not included in their story <laughs> yo whatever fairy tale life that they're living in they like to think that I didn't exist first of all the, the way in which the story was written was like they met years ago which could very well be true that is fine for me but it's like, oh, we've been together for this amount of years. And then we decided that we were going to start a family. No. <laughs> we might have been both his girlfriend's child, okay? You just you just got pregnant. That's all I got because, I mean, he was asking me to stay. 
it is what it is. And so, because I wasn't pregnant, like, I'm not trying to be no ghetto twins. Like, hello? <laughs> Anyways. So, I find that I can laugh about this now because this hurt for a very long time because, I mean, I wanted children. I still want children. And he was who I wanted to have my children with. And I'm just like, okay, this is what you do. So, now, for me, I've moved on. I've accepted my part in this entire thing as in I neglected to listen to my intuition um however okay (laughs) I just don't understand why why after so many years are you constantly trying to make contact with me why you're adding me on Instagram from your business account so now he wants to be a photographer you go ahead hustle on child like Hustle on. That's none of my business. You want to do that? You do that. You know what I mean? But why are you sending me friend requests? Why are you looking at my LinkedIn? Why are you doing all of this? Why are you sending your sister to um, connect with me? Why is always the question. And I reject, reject, reject. Because I want you to know I rejected it. Like, why? There's no need for all of this. Like, you know what I mean? If you are happily married, stay happily married. I am happily single right now. (laughs) But I'm going to tell you right now. That relationship broke my heart. It kind of just sent me in this, like... I don't think I went into a downward spiral. But I went into a place where... It was, it was hard for me because my relationship after him was worse. It was just like, it was because I think that relationship happened because I got triggered at the fact that I heard that they were getting married, right? They got married two days before my birthday. What kind of, listen, I don't know if you're trying to keep me in your life. You name the child out after you. The child has a name I gave her, okay? You're welcome. (laughs) Now you're married a couple of days before my birthday. You're also welcome. (laughs) And now you're stalking me on social media? Stop. (laughs) Like, please stop. Like, stop. But anyways, after the breakup, I I got into one more relationship after that, and it was more like, um, it was definitely something that got triggered by the fact that I heard that he was getting married, because I don't think at that point I was really over it completely, so it was like, hmm. So then it's like I'm trying to, like, I get into this relationship, a completely bad relationship, and it's like, whatever. But... I don't know. Like, Carl's, Carl Winslow is one of those moments in time where I can sit and laugh about him. I can sit and laugh about the relationship. I can sit and laugh about all the stupid things that I was doing and I was saying in this relationship, y'all. But I learned a lot about myself. Hopefully. <laughs> but I also learned that people ain't shit. <laughs> Like, at all. Like, at all. At all. Like, completely. Like, seriously, I'm thinking back on it. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like, he definitely... I thought I was going to be with this guy. Ignoring whatever intuitions or feelings that I had was wrong. But I did it. You know what I mean? But to see, like... The one thing that I can say, like, to see how people, like, manipulate situations to look like something, it's like, well, we all know the truth. Like, come on now. All of a sudden, you have me as your girlfriend and you you end up at a Christmas party with a big old belly? (laughs) I would be ashamed. I would be ashamed if I was that girl because I'm going to tell you right now, I think she knew about me. I didn't know about her. But... The way how y'all told y'all love story, child. You know about me. You sure did. (laughs) Okay, I'm so dumb. But anyways, I think that's it for this story time. I don't know. I'm going to have to watch it over to see if I was rambling and if I made sense. I'm going to splice and dice to make it make sense. Because 
it was a lot that relationship was a lot it took a lot it hurt me a lot um i wish i could handle a few things differently but you gotta learn from your mistakes um i don't think the few years following that i learned from my mistakes maybe now i don't know but i kind of just went into a tailspin and i did whatever i wanted that's when what's his name i forgot the, the other idiot came in the situation and was around just to be around and it is what it is like you know what i mean um but i'm woman enough to say that i've experienced this like that's why i tell people like i've i've had men cheat on me men this man done had a baby on me and married the girl that he got pregnant while he was in a relationship with me so what you want <laughs> what you trying to tell me please tell me what you trying to tell me this is this is what are you really trying to tell me that you're different okay <laughs> i personally feel that if you're different you don't have to say that you're different your actions will just prove that you're not like everyone else like it is what it is but anyways um that's it for carl winslow um he ain't shit he never ain't been shit like he ain't gonna be shit no joke <laughs> Okay, no, on a serious note, though, that's it for this story time. It's a long overdue story time. Um, it's a lot to, like, information to filter through, like, fil filter through because there was a lot in that relationship, like, a lot. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing things, but, like, I just don't remember everything now because that's so far for me it's so far in the past now it's like i don't remember all the little bits and informations or whatever i just know i the one thing that i will say he had a lot of bad friends around him and i don't think he wanted better for himself and if he did want better for himself i don't think he was ready for that right then and there but i can't make those excuses i can't make that assumption i just don't personally think he wanted better for himself because there was always an excuse you know what i mean um for me personally, he showed me what I did not want, right? And that's a reminder of what I don't want. The signs that pop up, I see it, I run. I don't even entertain the conversations because I already experience situations like that. You know what I mean? So for me, it is what it is. So that's it. Carl Winslow is gone. He is history. He ain't ever gonna come back. And this ain't family time. <laughs> family matters. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.